three, two, one. Good afternoon, class. Welcome to your music class today. Today we're going to learn about music history. If you guys remember, we kind of started to talk about it last time, and we kind of started to talk about some old composers and what uh, Western classical music it is, and really the period of common practice music. So today we're going to go deeper into that, and we're going to talk about uh, some specific composers and some specific time periods. So does anyone know any famous composers? Oh, no. Johann Sebastian Bach. Bach. <laughs> Anybody else? Is it Mozart? Yeah. Mozart? Yeah. Beethoven. Beethoven. What's the best competition? Tupac. Anybody else? No? Okay. We've got three big ones up here. So what we're going to do in this class period is we're going to put these people into their time periods and talk about their time periods. Okay, so the first time period we're going to talk about is called the Baroque period. This period lasted from about 1600, right, mm -hmm. to 1750, and this was when, like, the first parts of music started coming out, and it was known as the Busy Baroque, because there was always different melodies going on at one time, like, clashing with each other. Um, other characteristics are that it had one steady beat the entire time, which is not very common anymore, and also it was always in one key. And then that... Big blurred lines. 
and it pushed us into a period of uh, impression. Also, in that time period, they began to experiment with new instrumentation. So one of my favorites, Tchaikovsky, who is a romantic composer, composed the 1812 Overture, which fits into this period extraordinarily well because all of the romantics, everyone was extremely nationalistic. So in the other two time periods, I can tell you that Bach, Mozart, and Beethoven are big names. But during the romantic period, it depends on what country you were in as to who was the big name of that period. So this was a Roman, or not Roman, a Russian piece um, prepared by Tchaikovsky and it's between the Russian and the French um, as in a war. So it's programmatic, telling a story, and it's very nationalistic. Also, he just kind of wrote all the rules and just threw in some out there instrumentation.